instead of having funerals in the future, people do a thing where it's more called signing off. Like, if you know you're going to go on a trip, people say, hey, have a good trip, see you later. It was really good having you here. You know, when you come back, I'll see you again. And then you send them off on a trip. When you start getting sick, or when you start getting old, or you don't want to live anymore, instead of committing suicide, or getting old and just being afraid to die and, and, and just rotting away because you think yourself into, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, but I don't want to, I'm going to die, but I don't want to, I'm going to die, but I don't want to, and then you die. That's actually a mental, spiritual thing that you're going through in order to experience it in this lifetime. You don't have to die in this lifetime. Like, you'll lose your body one day, but you can keep the exact point of thought you're at as long as you know that that being that is in you has never been your body. It continues in you. It's just when you die and you think that you're a person, you're holding on to this life going, I don't want to die. Oh, please don't let me die. I'm dying. I don't want to die. Please don't let me die. I'm dying. I don't want to die. Please don't let me die. I'm dying. I'm getting even closer. And then you die and you say, I'm dead. Oh, and if you start, and if you do remember at that point, you'll be like, you'll think you're dreaming and you'll be like, oh my God, I'm dead. Did I die? And then you'll, you'll f make a like dream vision, like you would have a normal dream of a thought that you have in your mind, not your head, in your spiritual mind. This is another body that you have. You do have this body right now and it's hearing this. And you think to yourself like, where am I? And then you'll create either a vision, a sight, a sound, or if you're good enough, a being that will come up to you and say, hey, you're all right. You know, there's no death. This is just me and Uncle Bob over here fishing. And you'll go, fishing? I like fishing. And you'll go over there and you'll start fishing and you'll be like, what was I doing anyway? And, and then you'll forget that you weren't even in a human body quite quickly. But if you're like, oh my God, I died. I want to see him again. You'll keep thinking of the life you just were and you'll mentally picture these thoughts in your mind. Like if you closed your eyes right now and thought about when you were six and just wish you could have it back, but you can't have it back. I want yesterday back and I can't have it back. I can't have it back. You'll be in this place without a body as if you were just sitting there with your eyes closed being, please, 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 please give me that. Please, please, please give me, give me that. We're all doing that right now. Until you wake up and say, holy shit, that's what I've been doing. I'm in this body thinking that I'm so stuck to it, having to do all the commitments I made to it. So <clears throat> the signing off in the future is, is when people, they, they know where their spirit's going. They know whether they're learning or not from this lifetime. They don't have to grow old to say, I'm ready to go. They don't have to, you know, have something major happen to say, I'm, I'm ready to do something else. Like, and they can set their mind on what they want to do before they sign off, especially when they know they're choosing to. Say you're getting old and you think you're, you're going to die soon. You're like, ah, I've got about a year left and why wait this year out and go in pain? Like, be like, we have these things that can put you to sleep and stop your heart. So put you to sleep and stop your heart after you're asleep. But then before we do that, just like sending somebody off on a trip, the signing off would be, you know, guys, I really have done what I needed to do on this life. And it's, it's, there's really nothing left for me to do. As you can see, I would just be sitting around in a hospital bed or whatever, and everyone would see me as an inconvenience more than a convenience. And I don't want to become that. In fact, I have my mind, I have my spirit, and I know where I'm going. And I know what I'm going to do. If we taught that from the beginning of time, n nobody would, and we don't have to say the beginning of time that's already here. The next child, the children that are alive now, everyone that's alive now can understand that this is what we are doing anyway. So why live in fear? Why let people tell you that you're going to get sick and die? Because you never die. Your body goes. But if you believe that your body's going to die, your mental body will convince your physical body that it'll die. It doesn't matter how that thought of dying comes. Some other people getting sick and you're going, oh, I'm going to get sick from them. Someone on TV saying, there's a virus and everybody's dying. And you're going, I believe it. And then you see people getting sick and you believe it. And then other people around you believe that there's other people getting sick. And so then you start to believe it. And then other people just don't understand. All you got to do is get that shit out of your vision, out of your mind. And that means your internal vision. And everybody's internal vision eventually getting into the internal mind. It goes forward and backwards. Everything is a drop in the water. People have talked about stuff like this forever, but never been able to say it the way that it is because they've never been there and, and been to the place that made it. Like, we've all, we're, we're all doing it. But I, as Dan, have actually and am actually always there. 
I, I can't leave it. It doesn't mean that the, all the depictions you've had of the great beyond and the thereafter and the hereafter and the afterlife aren't there because they are there. What are you picturing in your mind right now without your body? Do you know how to use your mind without your body? When you can, and if you can answer that, then you know what I'm saying. But if you can't do that and you think that sounds weird, you've got a lot of learning to do and you'll go through many lifetimes to do that. That's what we're here for. So the signing off would be definitely the way we should go to now because we've already done it in different places, not right here, but in different times before now. But it would seem to us human beings, what we call ourselves now, as something that would come in the future. It's, it, it, when you're stuck on this wheel, you've done everything there could possibly be in any kind of body you've wanted, but you had to want it bad enough to die for it. And most people don't want anything bad enough to die for it. My next life will be exactly what I want it to be. And I want it to be somewhat like this world where I can feel it and express it and sense it. But I want it to be where people actually understand what the hell we're doing here. And it will be. And our children will grow up to be great. Because I'm one of these people who will affect your world. Not just the world. Your world. Because your world is my world. The world is my world. And we're all that. That's all that there ever will be. Love. You. And me. And God. Us. The great I. Until next time, keep love in your heart and know that you are God. If you don't like the word God, then just know that you are the creator. You are the whole universe and then some because you can create the next one. No matter who you are, no one has more ability than you once you control your internal mind and then your human mind because your human mind will have alternate things throughout time, triggering you to go to the next idea, doing the next thing. Join me and do this. Oh, it's not bad. I can do that. Why not? If, if, if it's got the tiniest piece of bad, tiniest piece that could contribute to negative, bring that into your mind. Do the math. Figure it out. You don't have to sit down and cram your brain and be like, is this good or bad for me? Is this good or bad for people? Is this good or bad for the environment? And work on making your life fun in a way that doesn't harm any of those things. It's that simple. All right, now, until next time, peace.